Chef Tony Matassa here for Shopper'sChoice.com and BarbecueGuys.com. Today I'd like to show you guys the Weber Summit S470 grill. It's got a lot of neat features. One of the first is this side burner. It's a 1200 BTU side burner. It has its own ignition system here and its own control, uh, gas control knobs. And it has nice little, you know, the grate on top is nice tubular stainless. On this side, you have a pop-up rotisserie motor, and it locks into place like that. Your cord storage is in there and whatnot, so everything's in there together. And when you're done, you just pop it back down like that to where you have two stainless work tables if you're not using either or of these things. It comes with six tool hooks, three on each side, which I always like because I like to use a million tools at a time. It has this handy little light that comes on the top for when you're grilling in the evening. It's got a warmer rack in the back. It's about 112 square inches of cooking, cooking space in that warmer rack. It also has the infrared uh, burner in the back. It's 10,600 BTUs. It comes with four stainless two burners for the regular cooking grade area. Then there's also a dedicated uh, tube burner back here for the smoker box and a dedicated sear burner in the center at 10,600 BTUs as well. Now inside the cart they have some, a few neat features as well. For when you take your, uh, your rotisserie, the, the hooks that go around your spit of your rotisserie, when you take those off, it has little spots, and I'm going to zoom in a little while to show you guys all this, but there are spots to hang everything, which is pretty cool. Then you have this stainless grease management system. All your grease will drip down into this stainless removable pan right here that also fits these little disposable aluminum pans like this. Make it nice and easy. Keep everything clean. Then the... Um, it's pretty neat how they had this spring-loaded system for the propane tank and when I zoom in you'll get to see it but there are pictures on here and little red lines and it shows you where your propane tank is and when it's time for you to change it or if it's full or not. Now something else that's pretty neat is this little guy right here for in case something's wrong with your ignition system temporarily you can actually slide a match in between here and come down and light your grill with this and it stays hooked up to your grill by this chain. And like I said, when we zoom in, we'll get to play with all those good little gadgets. I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys zoomed in right now. We'll check it out. Now that we're zoomed in, I'd like to show you what I was talking about. Here are your regular, uh, your four regular cooking grate burners. You have one, two, three, four, and stainless tubes. And as you can see, there's this sear burner is inside the other two. So it gives you a lot of concentrated heat right here for searing. This tube over here is the tube that I, that I was showing you earlier for the uh, smoker box. And the smoker box fits, fits right on top of this area, like this. And it's all stainless and has a stainless flame tamer at the bottom with little holes in it. So you put your, um, your soaked wood chips and whatnot in there, close her up, and the smoke rolls over all your food. The next piece to this puzzle are these stainless flame taming devices that sit in here like this. And what I'd like to show you is they actually have some, just like this one, that sit here even though there's no uh, tube burner right underneath it. And what that does is it helps that all this gets hot and retain, you know, and the, the stainless puts off a lot of heat and so that helps to evenly heat your food and evenly distribute the heat because it'll be like this across the entire surface here. And then your, um, your regular cooking grates go on top. Next we have the stainless cooking grates. You can see how thick those guys are, very heavy. Those sit right on top like that. And you're pretty much ready to go. Here we have a nice shot of the whole grill. 
wanted to make sure you guys could see where the uh, infrared burner was in the back with the warming rack and um, then there's the cooking grates there it, the cooking grates themselves have about 468 square inches of cooking capacity and as I said earlier you have 112 square inches on the warming rack so combined you basically have about 580 square inches of total um, space where you could put food and whatnot now that we're zoomed in on the inside I want to show you the uh, the grease management system that I was talking about earlier it goes into this little pan and here are the hooks I was telling you about like I said I I just I, I like the convenience I like the organization be able to get the stuff out of the way I guess everybody has their own idea of uh, organized cooking but I like to make sure that there's a place for everything I also like to zoom in and show you the, um, the spring-loaded system I was talking about you see the pictures there of the the canister being see where the red is on mine right now I'm at about a fourth full and then there's this little guy here I'll see if I can take him off while I'm backwards It has a little spring-loaded deal where you stick your match in there. I thought that was pretty neat for in case, uh, especially in Louisiana, there's a lot of moisture here. In case the ignition system goes out on me, I can always stick my hand in there with this instead of blowing myself up. The last thing I'd like to show you, I, I didn't talk about earlier, but to me it's fairly important, is uh, where do you stick your, your spit for your rotisserie when you're not using it? Well, if you have the Weber Summit S470, you slide it right through this little hole right here. And I think that's kind of neat because I don't want to just stick mine on the floor and I don't really want to just leave it hanging out in my grill either so it's nice that they have a spot for it. I hope you'll continue to watch because in just a minute I'm going to get some burgers on the grill and we'll do some other grill testing and we'll see, uh, see how the S470 performs.